this year on Sonic, the release of King of Mario Space, the game, I thought, you know what, let's do the King of Mario Space tier list. Okay, so we've got S tier for just the best, my favorite character class, I love these guys. A is that they're good, a very good clown. Uh, B, they're fine, nothing wrong with them, I just don't like them personally, I guess. Uh, C tier, I don't like these clowns. D tier, I hate these clowns. So let's get started. There'll be no clowning around this tier list, okay? Start off, we have this guy. Most of the clowns, I actually do know their names, so this one, I do not. Random background clown, um, pretty squishy face, gonna be honest. The guy is squished in. So, fine, B tier. Perfectly fine clown. Nothing wrong with him, just a little bit squishy. Slim in the house. Now, of course, Slim is a great killer clown. He's one of the most iconic clowns, too. So, of course, obviously, going in S tier. He also has that amazing puppet show, so yeah, S tier, of course. Ooh, the popcorn toilet clown. <laughs> These guys have great designs. They're like, they're starting, but also like creepy. The way they go from popcorn is really unique. It makes me question, do clowns come from popcorn in this world? Or this species of aliens? Like, do they come from popcorn? Or just whatever their version of popcorn is? Killer Clown's lore goes deep, man. But you know what? Great design, fun scene. A tier. A tier. For a second, I thought this guy had a unicorn horn. He doesn't. Just has a bald spot. Either way, um... I guess B tier. He's fine. This thing. What is it? It's in the movie for a few seconds? How come you guys stopped here? Good reason. We don't know what it is, where it came from. Is it a clown? Probably not. Which is what? Great design. Mind you, the grab boys from Tremors. So you know what? Just for design alone, give that an A tier. Ooh, random clown with some cotton candy colored hair. Um, you know what? For the cotton candy hair, B tier. Con Katie's cool. One of the um, thugs in the movie, which uh, not major role. Um, again, B tier, nothing wrong with them. At least a very fun um, death, part than that, you know. This very sad looking clown, this guy looks very sad. Am I the only one seeing that? Uh, B tier, cause, um, well, his sadness is very funny. Chubby, everybody's favorite chubby killer clown. Um, yeah, I'm putting that S tier, man. Has a very unique scene with one of the Con Katie cocoons, and I just, I, I love him, great design. One well, of the main killer clowns, but sadly I have forgotten his name, I am so sorry. And I know most of these clowns, even though this guy's a main character, I just, name is blank in my mind. So, obviously, A tier. Uh, oh, Pooh Bear, the wonderful dog. Well, it's a dog, so obviously S tier. Officer Mooney, bit of a prick, but you know what? A tier. Even though, yes, he's kind of an annoying character with how negative he is, um, still, he does good at what his role in the movie is. It also has a fun death scene. Also has the one actual scary part of the movie, so you know, points for that. Random clown with, um, green and yellow hair. Uh, B tier, nothing wrong with you, buddy. Completely fine. Another squishy clown? Uh, B tier, I like the blue hair. The other baby popcorn clown? Um, again, A tier. Green hair like his brother, which has red hair. So you know, it could be the exact same design they went the extra mile, gave her different colored hair, which I appreciate. Check out Runner. Um, you know what? Perfectly fine. Ooh, a blue clown looks like kind of shade in the middle of his head with some sharp teeth. Love that design. I love that so much. But I don't even remember me in the movie. So I'm putting him in B tier. Rainbow hair colored clown. I remember this guy. Uh, nice. Really nice clown. One of the Terenzi brothers. Uh, they're great, man. A tier. As a matter of fact, I'm looking down the list. I see the other Terenzi brother. So, go ahead and put that in A tier too. Perfect comic relief, at least already a comedy. Jumbo, oh man, I love Jumbo. Here's one of the more generally creepy scenes of the movie. And also just like, great design. So of course, put that in S tier. We have the guy who watched the puppet show. Um, B tier, perfectly fine. Fun kill, but you know, the character itself, perfectly fine. The one pie police officer, of course, A tier. One of the iconic deaths in the movie. And a very iconic scene, and a very funny scene. Rudy, oh, my personal favorite character clowns. Of course, S tier. His design is fantastic and great. The old man from the beginning of the movie, which is in a lot of 80s cult classic horror films. Um, it's great introduction to the clowns, and um, you know what? I'm giving him A tier. He's a nice, generally, um, you know, interesting character, really actually invested in, even though he gets such short amount of screen time. <laughs> what is, what are you? You look so silly. I love you so much. I'm putting you in B tier, you're so goofy. It's like, it's like, it's like a, like a Giga Chad chin, but like, beady eyes with like Cheeto hair. I love this guy. Ooh, a pretty creepy looking clown. Um, I like the design, B tier. 
Clown Zilla, everybody's favorite giant killer clown. Great scene, intimidating, great design. I'm of course being this guy in S tier. Shorty, my favorite killer clown. And it's also the favorite killer clown of James A. Jason East. As I mentioned, Shorty is my favorite killer clown. So of course, put this guy in S tier. He's funny, but also mischievous and threatening. And honestly, he's pretty cute. Like this guy, he's a cute clown. Ooh, white chill looks like a pink killer clown. Cause I know I can be referring to Spike cause he comes later in the tier list, I can see him. So, um, you know, I can basically see his design. So, uh, um, I guess uh, from what I can see, it looks unique, I guess. So I guess uh, B tier? A very low quality clown image. Can't tell too much what this guy looks like. Might be that clown from earlier, actually. I think it's the same clown. So I guess um, B tier, better look at him. Another one of the uh, thugs from the beginning of the movie. Um, again, fine. Another one of the um, clown popcorn babies. Again, A tier. Lovely designs, man. They're fantastic. And we have Spike. Now, of course, I love Spike. He is one of the most creative scenes in the movie, where he creates a living balloon dog. It's a classic. So, of course, put this guy in S tier, no doubt about it. Ooh, an almost bald clown, um, which looks very similar to um, Slim. And that guy in B. Mike. We all love Mike. Best human character for the movie, without a doubt. So, of course, put in S tier. Random clown with cotton candy. A B tier. One of the um, female clowns with the uh, interesting um, attributes. A tier, honestly, a very funny scene. Um, Debbie, one of the best characters in the movie, of course. Uh, going to S tier, very compelling character. Another random clown with um, nice purple hair, we'll admit that. Um, again, B tier. Another one of the uh, female clowns with um, interesting attributes. Uh, going in um, A tier, again, part of the same funny scene. A great. Just a great shot of a random clown. That's just high quality right there. Uh, going in B tier. <laughs> Another clear clown? I think this might be Fatso? Uh, the clown that drives the big uh, clown mobile through the streets. I like him. Uh, B tier. The guy that um, Slim kind of just, you know, drives off the cliff. Great scene, fantastic, very creative. I used to claymation, so you know what? A tier, very memorable character. We got Dave, everybody's favorite cop and third best character in the movie, at least on the human wise. So I'm um, honestly gonna give him S tier. Balloon dog, we talked about you earlier. You're of course getting A tier, fantastic, very creative scene. And our final killer clown is just a random killer clown that I've never, I've seen before, definitely. I watched me a lot of times. i um, never noticed him though, so you know what? B tier, shocker, I know. So I guess, yeah, this is my killer clown tier list. In the comments below, do you guys agree with it? How would you rate these clowns? Bye guys for now. Bye, Oscar Thacker.